Hello, welcome again to a new segment. This is Rob, Room 111. And in this uh, segment, I'll be talking about JPEG and the different uh, size of the images and also the compression quality. So you've heard of JPEG, uh, large, fine, small, basic. And maybe you've wondered what these meant and that's what we'll cover right now. Okay, so let me come behind the camera and I'll put this in front, this, this chart here, okay? So let me get this, um, okay, here we go. So, so we have, like when you've heard, large, fine. So let's talk about that. The first one is the actual size of the image in pixels. So for my Nikon D7100, uh, the large is 6,000 by 4,000 pixels. The medium is 4496 by 3,000 and the small is 2292 by 2000. Okay, so that's the first word. It's either sm large, medium, or small. And the print size, the corresponding print size can be found here in inches or centimeters, right? So this would be basically, you could probably squeeze an eight by 10 out of here, an 11 by 14, and even larger. And then when you get into cameras like the Nikon D800, it's a 36 megapixel camera. You can imagine how the, uh, the resolution. But this here is the D7100. It's a 24 megapixel camera and a large is 6,000 by 4,000. Okay, so the other word, so we have large, fine. So the, the next option, the word, deals with compression. Okay, so the first one dealt with size. The second one deals with the compression ratio of the image. So fine is compressed at a rate of 1 to 4. It's fine quality. A normal image is compressed at a rate of 8 to 1 or 1 to 8, either one. That's normal. And then basic is 1 to 16, which is quite a bit of data compression. That's why when you notice, when you zoom in on an image, when you zoom in on a... On a let's talk about RAW for a second. RAW is uncompressed, okay? This should be no compression in RAW, especially lossless. And there's no compression. So when you zoom in on a RAW image, you can zoom and zoom and zoom. And you, and you can come in really tight and there's no pixelation in the image. And then the fine, it's, it's still true to a lesser extent, right? Because you have a four to one compression or one to four. So you can zoom in pretty tight without pixelation. But when you get to saving images in basic, you'll, you'll see as you start to zoom in, like when, on, your, on your wheel, on your mouse, if you zoom in using the, the mouse wheel, you'll start seeing a lot of uh, just pixelation real early on. So that's that's what this is all about. Okay, you're, so again, it's size and then compression ratio. Now let's talk about some corresponding file sizes. Okay, so let's talk about raw. We have 14-bit lossless. This is in the Nikon D7100. I also have the D5100 and the D3100, but those are capable of 12-bit raw files. Okay, they're not capable of 14. So lossless, you're looking at now. All these are the same image all these file sizes I took the same exact image to minimize any variables so with this image I had a 30.8 megabyte file so one image is 30.8 megs 14-bit uh, compressed 26 megs 12-bit lossless 25.2 okay and then 12-bit compressed is 20.5 megabytes so that ends the raw files okay so these first four are raw now this starts the JPEGs and let's talk about this is large fine, large normal, large basic, medium fine, medium normal, medium basic, and small fine, small normal, small basic. So let's look at their corresponding file sizes. So for a large fine we're at 9.5 megs, large normal 6.2, 3.1, 5.7, 3.7, 1.8, 3.1, 1.9, and 0.89 megs. So this is the only size that's actually sub one megabyte. Okay, it's 80, 890 kilobytes for the small basic. And I want to draw your attention to one other thing here too. So look here between these two. It shows you how important the compression is because this is a large right so the image size is 6,000 by 4,000 and this is a medium 4496 by 3,000 but look how much larger the file is here even though the dimensions are smaller because there's less compression remember this is compressed at a rate of 1 to 16 and this is compressed at a rate of 1 to 4 so there's far less data compression happening which means it's a larger file size okay because it's retaining more of the data so consequently it's a larger file so if you've ever wondered about uh, JPEGs, I hope this was a, it's a, you know, quick summary, but it's fairly self-explanatory.